subscribe to my YouTube channel at Ann Kill Bricks for notifications and updates. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Ann Kill Bricks. Also, this morning, or was it last night, a list that has been flying around and telling us that this list is the list and the total amount of money that has been given to NDDC since 2000. Now, the reality is that that is far less than what should have gone to the NDDC. But maybe with all the stealing and looting that they have done, maybe it was just as well that they didn't pay us all the money for the Niger Delta Development uh, uh, Commission that they um, that uh, they are talking about because uh, there is also another corruption scandal about the Northeast Development Commission of a hundred billion. There was another scandal of um, of somebody cutting grass where, um, uh, for how many billion and, and so much and nothing comes out of it. But when it comes to Niger Delta, they must bring people out to slaughter them. No, don't slaughter people. Bring everybody out. If you're going to bring people out to jail, everybody must be jailed. The issue of how money left Central Bank and went into private hands to buy um, a private business, international business, to a family is incredible. Nobody is talking about that. NDDC is a creation for oil producing states that should have been on deck. It should have remained as on deck. It is, it is for, the, for what we are going through now that it was uh, changed, the name was changed and the, uh, and um, uh, to, uh, to cause the sort of confusion that we're seeing now in the um, in the Niger Delta uh, Development Commission, there is nobody in Niger Delta that will tell you that money was not looted, carted away, insanely, sickly, stolen from the poor people of the Niger Delta. And yes, the people appointed into the Niger Delta Development Commission are Niger Delta people. I have no, nothing against any individual as a person from the, uh, from outside of Niger Delta that is in the Niger Delta Commission. I have nothing against them as people. What I am against is, there, is them being in the Niger Delta Development Commission. It is called Niger Delta Development Commission. It's not called Nigeria Development Commission. It has no federal character. There should be no federal character in Niger Delta Development Commission. So if, if we are saying that we want to find the truth and we want to hold people accountable, it must, I will agree, and I believe my Niger Delta people who want facts and truth will also agree that it doesn't matter who you are. If you are found corporate bone, you must be held accountable. Everybody, all of us must, everybody who is involved must be held accountable. And all of us must hold ourselves accountable for not speaking up before this time. But if you are only going to do it in the Niger Delta Commission by saying we put Niger Delta people there, they are the ones that have stolen the money. No, that's not true. And you know it is not true. You know it is not true. You know that you have taken contracts. You have been awarded contract in Niger Delta and you're not from the Niger Delta. You know it. And you didn't do the job. You know it. You also know, if you're from the Niger Delta, that you have been awarded contract that either you didn't do it or you did some and you didn't do it. All of these things are fraudulent things. Whether you're from uh, Niger Delta or you're from um, outside of um, 
the oil producing states you have committed a crime and you must pay uh, for uh, for committing the crime of fraud against the niger delta people look at how, how many people have died in the niger delta by these fraudulent actions that have been taken so coming back to the issue of um the the probe that is being done by the um, by the uh, senators, lawmakers, that is just ended one day or two day um, interaction and the delivering of documents. I think that the uh, the committee should go and read the documents and come and make their points to Nigerians, but. If we are, I, I ask myself this question, and if I've gotten it wrong, somebody should correct me. If we are saying that the auditing is going on, can we please know the firms that are doing the auditing? Because if the auditing does not include foreign auditors, Niger Delta people, I want you to please be aware that you cannot trust the the result of the audit you cannot it has been compromised yes it has been compromised you cannot trust it so if we accept that the niger delta development commission should be audited it should include reputable i use the word reputable internationally recognized Nigeria audit companies and international audit companies should join to do the, the auditing and make the result public. If nobody is afraid, let us wait. We, they've, stood, they've been stealing for 20 years. What is wrong in waiting for, um, for three months or six months or till the end of the year for the audit firm to finish, even if they say award contract today in Niger Delta, it won't be done. It won't be finished in six months. So we're losing nothing. Just the same way we're not gaining anything from uh, answering the name oil producing states in Nigeria. Um, we're not going to lose anything if, um, uh, if uh, jobs are not uh, awarded to, uh, to contractors for another six months. But let me state very clearly here also, please, that I have concluded based on the scenario that I have seen play out, based on what the body language I have seen, based on what I have read, and knowing the type of magomago -mago that politics produces in Nigeria, especially now. The cabal, the people that have been involved in the looting of the Niger Delta Development Commission, whether they are Niger Delta people or not Niger Delta people, are trying to sweep this thing under the carpet. Not only are they trying to sweep this thing under the carpet, I have a very strong suspicion for me that they, they, there is an attempt to take away the, uh, the funds that is going to the Niger Data Development Commission on top of what they are owing, to take away the, um, the amnesty funds and the Ministry of Niger Delta. To say to the world you see these niger data people they are so corrupt uh, you see these niger data people they are the ones that have looted themselves no we are not the ones that have looted us some of us some of us the majority of us have not looted the ndc some niger data people have looted the ndc and i am all in support of them being found guilty of looting the ndc that every other person that had been corrupt from going into the CBN
to take uh, dollars and trade without buying the dollars from uh, selling crude oil, hiding it in China and selling it from um, allocating uh, oil wells to themselves, from, um, uh, from allocating um, um, uh, gas, wanting to pipe uh, Niger Delta gas, we've been talking about gas flaring. When I came on board to join my brothers and sisters in the call for justice and equity in 1998, before Abacha died, when I came back to Nigeria after traveling for some years, living outside of Nigeria for some years, when I came back to join this movement, already the crimes against the Niger Delta people were very glaring. And so from that 20, uh, two, uh, 2000, the creation of the Niger Delta Development uh, uh, Commission, the money that they are now passing around. First of all, I want to say to the Auditor General that since he has released those figures, both for the 13% uh, the, uh, the um, allocation that he, he has released and the, um, the NDDC allocation that he has released, he should also release the remaining percentage that the federal government has kept. Because the federal government has federal roads, they have federal university, they have federal hospital, they have federal housing, they have all kinds of things that they claim that they are doing in the 36 states. They should also release the amount they have spent in these states that the NDDC covers and in the states that the 13% um, uh, allocation covers. And they should also release the figure that is allocated to states by local governments. Let us see how much Bayelsa, they've released how much Bayelsa is getting every, uh, every month. They should also, every year, they should also release how much the local government of Bayelsa state <clears throat> is getting in comparison to the states and uh, local government areas of all, every other state outside of the, outside of the um, nine oil producing states. I hope my people are getting the point that I'm trying to make. Because tomorrow they will tell us <clears throat> elections are won by number, by figures, <clears throat> and that they are the largest by land mass. So allocation is also given to them every uh, month, every year. The people who are not producing oil are getting the, the, from the proceeds of oil. The people that are not producing tax from alcohol are getting tax, are getting allocation of the tax that is coming from people that is generating that tax through alcohol. They are not bringing anything to the table and yet they are sharing sometimes more. When it comes to local government allocation, they are getting more. When it comes to state allocation, they are getting more because there are two states more than us. In the, when you look at Nigeria in the de demographic of uh, North and South, when you look at uh, the local government, they are getting more. When you look at the state, they are getting more. These are the things. I want to call on Niger Delta people to stop fighting yourselves. It does you no good to stop fighting yourselves. Um, a few weeks ago, uh, Baramatu Kingdom, rightly, and I, and I have said I am in full support, my organization that I run, or the organizations I run is in full support of the position that the Baramatu people have taken regarding the gas, regarding uh, um, um, the oil, regarding the pipelines, regarding the, the, the OML bidding and all of that. I support them. I support the Shekiri people, we, the Ijaws of uh, um, Central and Eastern Zone, because the Baramatu position is within the, uh, the, the Western Zone 
of Ijo nation. If you are not an Ijo person, you will not understand. But this is how we uh, we do our um, uh, our allocating. We are in three. We are three different zones cut across the Niger Delta. And so, what has been done in Delta State by the Ijo's is supported by all other Ijo's in the in Bayelsa, which is Central Zone, and in uh, Akwaibom and um, and River State, which is Eastern Zone. Yes, we have Ijo's in Akwaibom. Before some people will start asking uh, unknown questions. Yes, we have uh, Ijo people in Akwaibom. Now, the the position that uh, Ishekiri people have taken when Ijo's are in support of it. The position that um, Urubu people have taken, Ijo's are in support of it. Now, in river states, like in Delta State, we definitely will support every ethnic nationality to come out and also make its ultimatum to the federal government. The ultimatum must be made by every ethnic nationality in the Niger Delta. Ijo people in river states, which are nine local governments, must come together and make that uh, and give that uh, ultimatum. The um, the Ijo's in Akwaibom, of course, will join us in Eastern Zone because they are with us in Eastern Zone by Ijo Zone, but they will do it in Akwaibom. Eket people, Anang people, Ibibio people, uh, every other uh, Ukwere people, um, uh, uh, Ahoda. If you are an ethnic nationality, a gi, if I don't call you, please don't start uh, texting here that I didn't call you. You are involved. You are included. Every ethnic nationality, Ikwere Ogoni, um, Ijo, every ethnic nationality must follow the guideline, the major guideline. What are those guidelines? We must participate in the oil well bidding. We must participate. And you don't have to have a billions of dollars. Um, 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 the, the lady that has oil well from the southwest, she didn't have billions of, uh, of dollars before she got the oil well. It is the paper that she took to bank. It is the allocation paper that she took to bank. I want my own to take to bank. It is um, uh, the, uh, the, um, the building of the, uh, of the six, 650,000 uh, capacity um, refinery that is being built almost finished in um in um in lagos by dangote he didn't um, he, he he didn't raise all that money by himself he went to bank yes the all the other people that have oil uh, oil allocation that even sold part of their oil allocation to chinese companies for billions and billions and don't know what to do with it and then we have people that are destroying our own people out of hunger, are destroying our environment. And then somebody who has stolen, taking a location and giving to himself will now come and tell me that the environment is being destroyed and that I should stop the people that are destroying the environment. That is just pure wickedness. I don't know what, what else to call it. I don't know what else to call it. There are people who own oil wells in the Niger Delta. They've never set foot in the in the in the community where those oils are oil wells are coming are coming from never have they set foot it is unfair and unjust and if there is any way of taking it from them if whether by going to court or by doing anything we must do it we must do it. we should stop fighting ourselves people are telling us we are our own uh, worst enemies just it is only because we fight ourselves if we refuse to fight ourselves, we will be our own best brothers and, and, and friends. Because the enemy is one. And once all of, if every ethnic nationality gives an ultimatum to the federal government, the federal government will know that people, the people who own the thing have risen up. They will know it. They will know it. And me, I, in my own a little way in my own single way that is what i am doing because i grew up in the creeks of niger delta i grew up in abonima i came to abonima at the age of six i have grown up in abonima 
that has been in the Niger Delta longer that, than some of the youths now that are talking anyhow. How can youths of Niger Delta get up to go and demonstrate? We want our, uh, we want our palliatives. We want our stipends. That is what they are demonstrating for on the uh, on the um, east west road that is not built. And their mates are driving the most recent Ferraris in the streets of Abuja. Their mates are eating on wasting money on 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 jet uh, 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 on jet that is bought with oil money through their parents. And when I talk, you will now open your mouth and be talking anyhow and say what you don't even know and even lie and put on top. And your mates, your mates, some of you are older than them. Some of you that are bending down to pick up the crumbs that is falling from the table, that is your table, the food is your food, and you're not bending down to pick up uh, crumbs. Then you say, and Kyo is making problem for you. What problem am I making for you? You think you're doing oil and gas. How can you be doing oil and gas? When you're running around as a, 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 as a 1% shareholder. Does uh, DSSP have oil well? Does Amayana of uh, Opobo have oil well? Does Amayana of, of uh, uh, Boni have oil well? Does Amayana of Calabari have uh, oil well? What will I say and, and leave? Kola Soku. Egi, do their traditional rulers have oil? Ikwere. Do the obi, uh, do uh, do the uh, uh, obi of this and obi of that and all all those places? Do they have oil well. You, you know, people remove this thing they've used to cover your eyes. Remove it. Remove it and see the reality that is staring you in the face. Which resource in the north or anywhere else or in the or in the west? will be on the ground of a, 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 a community in the north, like a Kaduna, which resource will be there that Niger Delta people will now go, go and apply, Niger Delta senators, all those senators from Niger Delta that want uh, uh, Akwabio to prove to you. Where, where, where in the north are you going to? Uh, have you ever given a Niger Delta person a letter to take to um, Northeast Development uh, Commission? Have you ever done it? Have you ever given a letter to go to uh, Amnesty? But people from outside of Nigeria, I mean, sorry, outside of Niger Delta, are taking letter from Abuja come in the morning, uh, I mean, from uh, uh, from other places in uh, and fly to Abuja or drive to Abuja, go to amnesty office, give letter to uh, whoever is an uh, amnesty uh, coordinator, and then walk away with a piece of paper giving, giving job with fake figures, and go and sit down and collect, uh, be collecting training money. Who are you training? And the Ministry of Niger Delta is the ministry that is actually to coordinate the development of the, uh, the rapid development of the Niger Delta. That is the word that the late Yaradua used. Rapid development. That he will oversee rapid development of the Niger Delta. When he has settled the, the people that have gone to uh, uh, fight in the creeks, they should come out. And then the, the rapid development of the Niger Delta will proceed and then unfortunately the man died so we will never know now what could have happened and what would not have happened because he died but the things he promised we have not seen it the reason why people came out of the creeks the reason why i, I won't mention their names they've not given me permission the, the people that came out and brought guns guns not these ones that uh, they are handing over to them in the name of uh, in the name of uh, uh, what do you call in the name of uh, we're laying them, I'll be ambushing them, thank you. In the way of uh, ambushing them, ambushing me, army. And then you say that these people are, uh, these people are bandits. Bandits are ambushing the largest black country uh, in the world. He's being ambushed by, uh, by, by bandits, by criminals. That is the meaning of that. And these people are carrying a, a star, general star. I'm a Nigerian, at least for now. I'm a Niger Delta. I'm a reverse person. 
I'm an Ijo indigenous. I am from Calabari Kingdom. I am from Abonima clan. I have a right to say these things that I am saying. I don't have to be afraid to say them. God made it his own choice to make me who I am. God picked my mother and my father to create me. I didn't have a say in it. God picked me to be who I am, to be a member of a clan, a member of a, a community, a member of a kingdom, a, pers a person from um, um, a nation that is indigenous to Nigeria. I will not be silent. I will stand. I will stand and I will speak truth to power. I will stand and I will speak truth to power. Enough is enough. But on most of all, I blame Niger Delta people. I blame Niger Delta people. If we rise up, if all the ethnic nationalities in River State, if we stop disregarding ourselves, if we stop fighting ourselves, even in River State, if we stop disregarding each other, if we stop being unfair and unjust to each other, even in River State, nobody can touch us. Nobody. Not to talk of Niger Delta. Nobody can touch us. Nobody. On that note, I've said what I am. Um, I, I shared with you. We must continue with this audit is a must. And anybody who is fined corporable must be given the right punishment. On that note, I thank you very much. God bless you. And um, we'll talk again next week. And I stand firm. I will speak truth to power. I will stand for my rights. I will speak upon the, uh, the truth. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.